Hey everybody, it is 6, 22 a.m. Uh, let's see, it's uh, Tuesday, January 9th, 2018, and I'm bringing you another coin call out right here, start coin. Been placed on my desk by one of the uh, well traders that I uh, know. Um, <clears throat> this thing here is pretty good looking, right? Um, here's the chart for it. Um, it's trading on Bit Rex right now, and um, as you see, this is like the bottom levels right here. So, if, I mean, if it does go any lower than this, I don't think it'll get, get any lower than, than where it's at right now. This is a $10 level right here. This triple oh eight. It looks like, you know, people tend to sell when it gets up to this level right here. The triple oh eight level. If we're looking at the Bitcoin chart, this is a Bitcoin for start coin. What is start coin? Well, it's well, I, I believe it's a first of its kind, just like the coin I called out yesterday. I called out uh, Snowvio, which was the first of its kind, like a lead generation token. This is actually a coin, this one is actually uh decentralized I'm not saying the other one wasn't decentralized what I'm saying this is a Litecoin this is a fork of Litecoin this start coin right here there's only 84 million that are gonna ever be created okay it tells you right here on this on their page right here there are a total of 84 million coins with the reward of 40 coins per block having every 12 months okay just like Litecoin all right it's mining on a uh, X11 proof of work algorithm, unlike Litecoin. So anyone with a D D3 miner out there, they should be pointing. They could be pointing their their miners right here and, and cleaning up like 40 coins per block. That could. How soon will this thing get to 10 bucks? That's the question, right? Well, that's why I was placed on my desk. This thing is set to take off. Okay. I wouldn't bring you a coin that wouldn't make you at least a uh, hundred times your dough, forty times your dough, ten times your dough, whatever you got. I mean, if you put a thousand dollars in this thing and it goes forty times, guess what? That's four forty thousand dollars for you. Me, I'm waiting on the price of Bitcoin to rise. I just got paid out. Um, I'm thinking about buying some some start today, but I'm also going to do some. Let's do some technical analysis on the on the Bitcoin chart here. Now, what you're going to see is, I, I mean, this is what you normally see. All right, when I'm when I pull my charts up, but um, today I'm going to reveal my, some of my technical analysis. You know, anal. I don't know if it's playing. You got to be real anal with this stuff. I mean, this stuff is not 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 to be played with. I mean. I drew a chin line from right here. I'll, I'll, I'll make it bigger. Um, technical analyst. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to click on this right here. Uh, I forget that I'm actually recording my face this time around. All right. Um, let's see. About that big is that too big all right now you know what I'm looking at at least okay this is the Bitcoin coinbase underneath the six the, the 240 minutes which comes out to be six hours I mean four hours I'm sorry this is the four hour chart and I got some of my uh, moving averages drawn at the same time so it's kind of getting cluttered over here but uh this should help out now from the last point which was brought here at 5000 we had seen an up move all the way up to 
the first time we touched about 20,000. Second time we touched 20,000. I put flags right here because I want to bypass this again. That's the only reason why I put flags up here. Otherwise, I don't see us going heading up. If we don't get past this 18, $17,000 area right here, um, we shouldn't cross this trend line. This thick trend line I just drew is extremely bearish, okay? As soon as we cross it, if we come back up here and we just bounce across it and bypass this flag, we're in good territory okay i believe we're in good territory right now because we already bypassed this flag right here which i didn't set but this is a bear this is a well pulled flag right here 1700 and you know we're headed up if we go past 1700 all right how soon no one knows okay we're not, we're not we don't have crystal balls okay we don't we don't we don't we're not fortune tellers so you can't take anybody's technical analysis with with a lot of uh you know like surety like conviction or anything but me you watch the market that's what you do and you if it reacts to a certain trend line which it does it always does react to these trend lines then you know there's something to it okay and that's how you play it that's one indicator you have to have at least five to ten indicators okay i use for my indicators, I use uh, I use untraditional indicators like uh, let's say uh, here's an indicator right here, Bitrex. This whole site is an indicator. All right, the coins that get added to Bitrex, when they get added to Bitrex, are indicators. Okay. Last time I was here, I was looking at GLD. Um, today we're going to be looking at start coin so it's s t a r t i'm already logged in look at mysterium i never heard of this coin m y s t start coin by the time coins make it to the to that list i just showed you where mysterium is it's probably too late to go buy it i mean you probably go buy it or go down that's probably where people are selling it that just that already bought it we're getting in start coin before everybody else get in. That way we can sell it when it's at ten dollars when everybody starts getting in. Okay, so my channel's making money. I don't know about everybody else's channel, but everybody that tunes into my channel is making money from what I can see in my in my um in my comments that I don't hide. Okay, you, you get people that hide their comments. Look at this thing is moving. How fast is it moving? It looks like it's moving pretty fast. Let's go to the minute. I don't want to go to the minute chart, but it's like by the time I want to get in, it's probably going to be so high. It's 48 cents right now. When did I see it? I noticed it when it was 45 cents. We're at the top of the RSI right now. This thing is climbing. The stochastic RSI is not at the top yet, but it's, it was at the top right here. Then it went down and it went up. It's like, okay, what are you guys going to do? I guess you're just going to accumulate it. Anything that's below this price right here, which is 47 cents, I would accumulate. Anything below 50 cents, I would accumulate. All right. If it drops and you are you bought at 50 cents, okay, what are you going to do? It drops. I mean, okay, depends on how much money you, you, you spent, right? And, and the way you start feeling inside. You might. You might feel a little, you know, queasy. Oh, Lord, what is that? But you can't, you can't let these things um make you queasy, all right? Cause this starts happening to people when they if you buy in at 50 cent and you feel queasy and you start throwing up because you start exiting your position when it drops and you bought at 50 48 cent it drops all the way back down to like 25 cent in the two in the, in the triple oh two area what is the triple oh two does anybody even know 
and you start throwing up. No, don't throw up. Accumulate more. Anything below this part, accumulate more. All right. Don't don't puke out your position. Um. Okay. I was counting my bitcoins that came in from another miner. Let me think about this. What what I, what I want to make sure we understand is what what is point zero 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 three. That's about, this is quadruple, this is quadruple three right now, 42 cents. Quadruple, 47 cents. Okay, so if this thing drops down to 22, it's 31 cents. All right, so this is this is the 31 cent area down here. And that's what, what I'm looking at. Uh, it's probably a 25 cent area, 28 cent area. These are all accumulation zones, not barf out just position zones. I mean, but you know, some people that they spend like a hundred thousand dollars on this coin, which is probably what's making it go up right now, and it falls below. Okay, they're gonna puke up their position even more, and they're gonna sell it, and it's gonna it's gonna probably, you know, drop. Um. But those, you know, that's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with people with a different, different size bank accounts. That's why I use like, you know, my, I use my daily mining revenue to trade and then I hold till it gets to a larger amount that I just, that way I'm not taking too much of a risk. Uh, I'm actually eyeballing the price right now. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys are looking at this thing too. Like what is going on with this? It is, you're, you're slow. Crypto trader, you're not a crypto trader, you're slow to trade this thing. Alright, let's go back and look at Bitcoin. Let me see if I can pull this thing over here so we can eyeball it at the same time. Um let's see. What do I think about Bitcoin right now? Okay, Bitcoin, since it's underneath this other red trend line, this is my red trend line. This is a 200 day moving average for those that are in the technical analysis. I see you. That's probably why you join my channel. Maybe not. Maybe you join my channel for the coin call outs. I hope so. Whatever the case, you're going to learn some technical analysis in this, in this, in this channel too. So here's a 200 day moving average right here. Okay. It's better used on longer, larger time frames, like anything above four hour. Um, I got a buy signal right here. I mean, I'm sorry. I got a sell signal right here. And then we fell underneath it. And right now we're bouncing off of this, this, what, what I call this, just a trend line. Okay. Cause this is just the normal trend line from the last bottom to this. Now these, are bearish trend lines that I draw on. I connect red candles so I can see future price action drop. Now here's a, a support and resistance level right here that we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cue in on right now. So I'm gonna change this size of this. All right, and uh, these are my how I draw my support and resistance zones. Um, here's another one that was drawn before we fell down here. Okay, and it bounced off of there okay now I'm, gonna, I'm gonna highlight this one just a little bit bigger okay now look what's happening here is that um, you can kind of see these bearish trend lines that I draw let me let me make this one a little bigger so we can see what I'm talking about here uh, like this one right here okay I predicted, oh, we're going down to 10. If you look at my previous videos when Bitcoin before it was over here, before I made these flags, Bitcoin was like right here in this area. And I'm like, yeah, it's going higher, baby. This is when I bought some Bitcoin. All right. And I was mining like $70 a day. I was like really loving life this day. And then uh, went all the way up here again. I was like, oh, yeah, I was really, I was doing like 120 a day. I don't know if it was that much, but look, I was, the whole time I was like, yeah, um, let's dump big, they're getting ready to dump Bitcoin. 
and they started doing this shit. So it got down here. I was like, yeah, we dumping Bitcoin. And uh, what happened was, uh, I was like, yeah, it's going down to 10,000. I still wasn't ready and really prepared. I didn't prepare myself to buy right here like I wanted it, like I wanted to. It never really recovered, as you see. It was so many people trying to buy right here that it made this nice, long-ass needle of a candle right here. Okay. You see this candle right here? I don't know how to make this thing any bigger. All right. So, um, what we're going to look at now is like, what's, what's the future hold? Okay. Because it never really, it hit this trend line. It hit this trend line. It didn't really hit any of these bullish. This is not a trend line. I'm sorry. This is a, uh, a resistance line. It hit this resistance line. It didn't hit this. It didn't hit any, it didn't really hit. It got close, but this is one to look at like this one right here below this one. This is looking like it, it actually hit this one. So this this support line hit this trend line right here. I could say that this support and resistance line met up and it bounced off of it. All right, I could say that happened. Will it happen again? Right here, no. Right here, no. Will it come back down here? Here, a lot of people are saying it's going to go to eight thousand. Is it going to hit right here in this area right here? It could. It could come back. Since we're bearish again, we can fall through. If we fall through this trend line, this nice fat trend line I drew right here, if we actually fall below this somewhere up here, we could probably be headed back down to this point down here at 8,000. Now, I'm not causing any fear or uncertainty. I'm just saying, you draw this trend line, if it gets violated, we can, we can probably head under it okay down to what level back down to this level or back down to this level right here where we, where we were buying at right here so it would probably be good for me to draw trend lines right here like right here's a good place to really say if we fall past that all right let me grab tool here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do this the old fashioned one. <laughs> Alright let me good place would be right here to really be like you know we're falling but we fall past there before we, we recovered right here so the last time we fell right there was right here that's the twelve thousand mark then we were right here would say a good place would be 13 if I can get it to there it is we're going to talk about ripple next there's a cluster of uh, signals right here buy sell buy okay and at that buy signal is where I want to put a trend line, all right? Because that shows that's where all the buyers are at, all right? And um, that's a support. This is a trend line, okay? If the trend continues up, it stays above this trend line. If we break above this moving average it's a bullish trend for sure in the mind of millions of traders okay professional traders they all looking at this 200 day moving average right now okay it's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy once we stay on top of that then we really do know once we keep steady above this trend line that's probably drawn on the same guy's charts we still we buy at this line right here we buy we buy we buy we buy we buy right now i don't know whether to buy or sell because we're under the 200 i would sell me personally i would sell under this once we like right now i'm in selling mode right now i'm bullish i'm bearish right now on, on bitcoin but why would you sell 
if you know Bitcoin is cheap, right? Why would you sell it? And that's the other thing I'm going through right now. So there's a little bit of indecision in my trading right now. I want to show you guys the uh, I want to show you guys what one of the other technical analysts were talking about. Um, they were talking about a ripple, right? I want you guys to see this. Um, shout out to what's his name? Um, A A I. Fad Hala. <laughs> Shout out to this guy. Check it out. Ripple chart, right? Ripple is still bearish. Ripple's at $2.22. I'm going to press this button right here. This is a, uh, a, a consolidation box. So if it breaks to the upside, we're headed up. If it breaks down to the bottom, we're headed down. So he has a target set for two dollars and fifteen cent I guess that's where he's buying ripple I wouldn't buy ripple with nothing I press this and boom he bought right here this is target did it hit his target it looked like it hit his target this guy knows what he's talking about why did it why was this a target zone because people were buying right here that's why it's a big ass needle right here well people were buying right here too so why didn't he say, you know, people were going to buy if he hit this zone? See, a lot of that stuff is tricky, right? It really is. But Ripple is, you know, bam, bam. The sentiment for Ripple is Ripple's a ripoff, all right? If CNBC is pumping Ripple, like, you, I don't know if you guys check CNBC, but they got a lot of, you know, commentators on CNBC that, you know, do elaborate. They've been doing elaborate, you know, setups on their set showing ripple is a buy ripple is the next cryptocurrency ripple isn't even a cryptocurrency first off ripple is centralized it's just like paypal it's just like yeah, all, all i need is a database to have ripple run i mean and they put it in a cryptocurrency category it 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 has a sort of like a blockchain but it's not decentralized decentralized meaning it's not on everyone's computer it, it's not backed up by everyone as a consensus in a consensus manner like everyone supports it because everybody has it on their computer ripple was at one location in a big ass skyscraper okay and and banks are like look looking at it like oh this is golden pay in cnbc some money let's pay them people money promote this ripple bitcoin we don't come together to pay cnbc nothing to support Bitcoin, so they don't even they 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 looking at it like oh, this is I don't know about this stuff. Of course, you don't know about it. But if a bank tell you to know about something and pay you to know about something, then you know about something, okay? And that's what's happening with Ripple. And I'm not gonna say that same thing happens with Stellar. All right. So I'm also looking at Stellar. But right now, let's get back to Startcoin. All right, because you know, I mean. I had Stellar down here. I was looking at it. Uh, STL. I don't know what happened to it here. Yes, excelling. Uh, we missed. We I missed Nebulous. Nebulous was like at fucking ten dollars or seven dollars like two days ago. I was looking at it, but I didn't catch. This, they they. I think that's a pump though. I don't know. It went up to forty two dollars very quick, and I don't know how many coins is in there, but um. I guess I'm not going to find Stellar on this list right now. X, L, M, all right, let me just, oh, here it is right here, 60 cent. There we go. That's what I wanted to keep up. That's not it. 69 cent. X, L, M, there it is. All right. 60 cent. All right, there it is. Keep that up. Now, what I was doing is, um, all right, we're looking at Starcoin. This is the ten dollars zone right here, so it's gonna mark it off. If we bypass that, I mean some people are gonna buy right here and sell right here. You know, the day that you buy right here and we pass the ten dollar mark, you're probably gonna be in golden territory. 
I would buy here, sell here, let it come back down and buy back in. All right. And re redeploy your capital like that. Um, we zoom in on a, on a weekly chart here. This is a weekly chart. So this is today. I don't know what today looks like. Let me see what today looks like. Um, that's what today looks like. Let's look at a four hour chart. Alright, that's what a four hour chart looks like. Alright, um, this is the last four hours, four hours, four hours, four hours, four hours. Okay. Um, here's a one hour chart, 15 minute. We got a buy signal right here on the 15 minute chart. We're still in buy territory on the hour. Buy buy signal right here on the four hour. We got a buy signal right here on the day chart. We got a buy signal right here and a buy signal right. So we just a buy levels every fucking way. God damn, buy level on a weekly. What a all right there. All right, this is a buy, okay. It's a buy hour on. Is it buy on the on a minute minutes minutes of will break you up. A minute a minute chart with my indicators will break you apart. You would know not know when to buy when to sell. All right, all right. But um, this is a buy uh sell buy, so it keeps turning into buys. All right here, if it breaks this thirty two, is probably a good place to buy. A better place to buy would be underneath 32. Anything underneath where we're at right now. I'm going to just say buy this damn thing. All right. I'm gone. I'm not. I, I want to buy right now, but I'm waiting on my Bitcoin value to go up, which probably is not smart. I'm not sure what I should do. Because Bitcoin is going up right now, but how fast and how soon? If I take a look at it, it bounced off of this trend line pretty much, making a higher high from the last which is a good thing. I mean, it have to go up past this point to me though. I mean, I, I mean, this is a higher low, put it that way. This is a higher low, which is a uptrend signal. Um, but I want this thing to go up past the, uh, point right here. I think I'm going to start making my technical analysis videos live. You guys got to bear with me. I'm kind of working out the kinks of my channel because I just really got started. Um, Pound the like button, pound the uh, subscribe button if you like this technical an analysis. An analysis, I'm sorry, I'm not going to say that word, it's a bad word. The analyst. I'm a technical analyst. No, I'm not that anal. Sorry. Um, I just like joking around saying that. But, um, anyways, let's make sure that we understand Bitcoin is could be dropping lower but I don't think so since we've made a higher low okay and we're sticking to this trend line this is the bottom of the trend this is where you would accumulate Bitcoin that's why I don't want to sell it but I want to buy some star coin like some start coin I'm sorry all right we just got bearish on start coin sorry I'm sorry for saying bearish but um because this is a minute chart on a two minute what's going on uh, I wouldn't count this as bearish this is a bulls coin right now that's temporarily becoming bearish someone's actually selling right here or they're, they're initiating market sell orders causing the price to hit every buy, every buyer below it they want to get out of it. Maybe they got in down here with like a million dollars. All right, maybe they're selling up here for a million dollar, for a thousand dollar profit off of a million dollars. Who knows? That's what makes these things move, though. Like when you know, when you realize that somebody's out there trading like with, with a couple of hundred thousand dollars, and you're like, why is it going down? And you know, it's like, wow. People are out here trading. On, I wouldn't say with a hundred thousand, but it's some people you know trading like that. I would say a couple of thousand, five thousand dollar trades, trade five thousand dollar traders are out there causing this thing to move. 
buying right here, selling right here, you know, making about a couple of hundred dollars with five thousand dollars, which you can typically do trading these markets. Um so what you what I'm I'm kind of like what what I'm doing is I'm doing a lot of fundamental buys right now and holding I'm hodling I'm a hodl trader as of right now I do most of my serious trading on BitMEX I've been getting my trading bot together I've been programming my trading bot So, just looking for this thing to see what it does. It's, it looks like it's trying to hold right there. Let me pause this, bro. It's 30 minutes. What is Starcoin? All right. I know you guys can go Google this on your own, but while I'm on the channel, real quick, just for people want to make a point in time in history and recorded history right this is a 49 cent coin it was 45 cent um it's trading on bitrex cryptopia blue trade all right um total supply is 84 that's why it's a buy all right now What I want to draw attention to is coins. I look a, a little something about a coin that I wouldn't buy at seven cent. All right, circulating supply. This is Sia coin. What market is it at? Uh, Bitrex. Recently, I don't know what this means right here. I think when they turn white, they get recently added or something. I don't know, taken off or something. Zero percent volume. Filoni X, alright. Filoni X, 31 million, I mean 31 billion coins in circulation. That's why it's only 7 cent. People don't, they don't look at this stuff in the end and really be like, oh yeah, it's going to go up from here because it's 7 cent. I don't know. Why would you think that if it has like triple trillion coins, you know what I'm saying? Like as crazy as that sounds, it's just not worth the investment. When a coin can pop from 50 cent to 150 that's a that's a long-term hold right you can like basically you can count on not losing your 30 bucks all right you might have to hold it for a month or two or three okay like i'm doing when i buy like when my channel when you see my coin call outs i'm holding these coins for like three months and if they pop sooner then i might sell them to buy something else okay so um so basically let's go look at a, a coin I just got sat in front of me I mean I don't know what this thing is but let's go check it out it's called HTML coin some one of my viewers man thanks man whoever you are uh, for, for the coin alert HTML HTML5 coin, HTML coin, which one? There's HTML5 coin, and then there's uh, total supply 40, 1, 2, 3, 40 billion. Look at the price of that thing, though. Know, if it goes to 4 cent, you know, the USD, the volume, all that stuff does matter too. I mean, I'm not saying stay out of a high coin. I'm mean, just don't get in it when it's everybody's already in it. You know, you want to like a Ponzi scheme. You don't want to get in Big Connect right now. You want to get in Big Connect like you know, on January 2017 when Trayvon Trayvon James got in uh, in March, three months after it opened. You know, I saw it in January. I wanted to stay away from it because I didn't know it was gonna. It was. I didn't think it was gonna hold together, but it did. They made some millionaires out of Big Connect. All right, we can do that with HTML5 coin right now. From what it looks like, this thing is hot, hot to try. I don't know. I'm gonna have to make another video about this coin. Uh, 
it deserves its own. Let me see if I can get another uh, point market cap up real quick to see what this HTML coin. All right, it's not showing us its market cap. It's it's at three, basically sub cent. It's it's sub pennies right now. It's like a, a third of a penny right now. If it goes to a whole penny, we can see some substantial gains in, in this coin right here. Um, 90, max supply is 90, 1, 2, 3, 90 billion, total supply is 1, 2, 3, 40 billion. We don't know what's circulating right now. Let's look at the charts. This thing is going up. This thing is, is, is chilling. If it went up and then went back down, let me... Uh, Let's look at this a little closer. All right, what did it do? The blue is the uh, market cap. The price is the green one, so it went down. It's down here, okay. Damn, I might have to go buy this coin before Bitcoin pops up. All right, I'm doing another video. I'm putting this up. All right, it's going up. Let's make this money. All right, let's make this money.